In this lesson, you will learn what duplicate data is in the graph, and you will be introduced to a new use case for our model that we will be working with. You should take care to avoid duplicating data in your graph. Where some databases require a form of denormalization to improve the speed of a set of queries, this is not always the case with a graph database. Deduplicating data gives you the added benefit of allowing you to query through a node. For example, finding other customers who have purchased a particular product, or finding similar movies based on the rating of other users. In addition, duplicating data in the graph increases the size of the graph and the amount of data that may need to be retrieved for a query. We have a new use case that we must account for. What movies are available in a particular language? Our current instance model looks like this. As you can see, we do not account for languages in the data model, so we will have to add this data. Suppose we add a property to each movie node in the graph named languages that represents the languages in which a movie is available. Here is what the instance model would look like. Here we see that all movie nodes have English in the list of languages. This is duplicate data and for a scaled database would represent a lot of duplication. In the next challenge, you will add more duplicate data to the graph. This concludes our look at what duplicate data is in the graph and a new use case for our model that we will be working with.